Don't do me wrong, baby. We got one more cook-off. Woo! Looking good! You know, I've been very successful. I won numerous awards in brisket, and let's keep it real. I just talked to her. She said she's gonna do good for me. She's got number love for us in Texas, boys, and she's my yellow rose of Texas to this weekend. I came into this contest with a little redemption in my head, thinking, you know, Myron, I think you did me wrong on Pitmaster. Today is not your day. I know I have a chance. A dude owes me money I'm here to collect. Chicken scraping sucks. I hate this. I literally loathe this. My chicken prep takes like two to three freaking hours, man. What you want is that translucent look. You can literally see the cutting board underneath. It's a pain in the butt, but it wins. Oh, I love me some chicken scraping. There's nothing better than a little chicken scraping. We're making a great sweet rib, but we need that heat. And I said, screw it. We're going to put some heat. My heat comes from my West Texas rub that I use on my brisket. So we just put a little bit on the backside just for a little tickle. So it's a little kiss from Texas saying, buenos dias, we are here. I'm a great pit master in Texas, but we're in a whole different region. So I'm gonna have to go through the sweet factor. It's okay, I'm full of sweetness. In Texas, we're all about bold flavors, and now I gotta tone it down and get crazy. It's like going from a Ferrari to going to a minivan. <laughs> the loud mouth of the South, Myron Mixon, and then he got his sidekick, mini me, Michael Mixon. With those two, I already got a headache. I need to take some painkillers every time I hear them. Ernest, what is all this on the side of your smoker right here? That says in Spanish, Myron Mixon is a on and is gonna get his ass whooped today. <laughs> I guarantee you, if everything goes right, this will beat Myron tomorrow. Coming up to this cook-off, I had to do my research. You know, Texas barbecue is more bold, and it's got a little heat in there. Georgia-style barbecue, it's got the sweet factor. It's got a little tanginess. So now I got to mishmash that, so I just don't want to look like an idiot. Now we're going to inject it with that secret weapon that the grand champion gave me with these fruit juices. Right. You know, those flavors love pork. It's like pork chops and applesauce. Oh, it's just, they just love to be together. The poor butt is like the high school bully. He's out to get my lunch money, but I'm ready for him. Bird Bean Company! That risk I took with that chicken knocked it out of the park, and I knew it prevailed because us Texas boys know how to cook some yard bird. And Ernest Cervantes, the outsider from Texas, surprised everyone by finishing strong in chicken, <laughs> pushing him into second place in the pit war stand. Yeah! Hey, y'all want to see more of Barbecue Pit Wars? Go to DestinationAmerica.com and tell them Big Ernest sent you. I think no one took me serious. I was a major underdog, the only guy from out of state. They thought I had no chance in hell. But guess what? They're coming to get me, and that feels really good. This is my moneymaker. It's, it's, it's a West Texas-style rub. This is the smell and the epitome of a, what a brisket should smell like. It's kind of like the perfume on a woman. <laughs> 